The SV Jodenai stands as a testament to the innovation and dedication of the Republic of the Marshall Islands to compact the effects of climate change. The innovative sailing cargo ship has been built on Gyoji Island in South Korea. She embodies the culmination of years of hard work, collaboration, and a shared vision for a better future. In July 2024, Jude and I arrived from its crossover journey from the Republic of Korea to the Marshall Islands, ready to serve as a training ground for future maritime workers and sailors and to provide essential services to our islands and atolls. As we reflect on the journeys of the Jude and I in our Pacific, we recognize that she carries a powerful message, a message that extends far beyond our shores. We are demonstrating that sustainable maritime transport is not a distant dream, but a tangible reality. Every wave we navigate, every wind that fills our sails, is a testament to our unwavering commitment to sustainability. Our voyage is not merely from one island to another. It is a journey toward a future where our climate remains in balance and where our children inherit a legacy of responsibility and resilience. The SP Jury Night tells the story of a resilient island community coming together to shape a better tomorrow. I hope our national achievement in partnership with the German government through TIZ serves as a powerful reminder that progress is indeed within our reach. The significance of maritime transport for the Republic of the Marshall Islands cannot be overstated. It is the life of our economic activity, connectivity, and resilience, particularly for our remote islands and atolls. Jude and I, as first modern sailing cargo vessel in the Pacific, marks a transformative moment in the nation's efforts to transition towards a sustainable energy efficient future. By harnessing the power of renewable resources, such as wind and solar energy, the Jodanai will drastically reduce the Marshall Islands' reliance on imported fossil fuels for sea transport. This shift will not only lift the financial burden on our national and household budgets, but also pave the way for a cleaner, more sustainable future. This vessel is a beacon of possibility for other nations, urging them to embrace innovation, investment in clean technologies, and take bold steps to safeguard our planet for future generations. Since 2017, Sherman's Ministry for Environment, Nature Conservation, Nuclear Safety and Consumer Protection has been funding the Low Carbon Sea Transport Project. The project is implemented by the German International Corporation, short GIZ. Over the years, this initiative has came a long way. With the major achievement of the delivery of the new type of sailing cargo ship for the Republic of the Marshall Islands in late July 2024, sailing ship Churana. Churana is operating now in the Marshall Islands and beyond. She stands as a testament to our collective efforts and the unwavering support of our political partner, the Marshall Islands Ministry of Transport, Communication and Information Technologies. We are immensely proud to collaborate with the Marshall Island Shipping Corporation, the University of Applied Sciences and then Lea in Germany and other partners on this initiative over the last seven years. The joint efforts have been instrumental in allowing the construction and delivery of this new type of low emission Pacific Island supply ship at a very high standard. The construction of Churanai was a major milestone of the Low Carbon Sea Transport Project with its energy efficient components and equipped with a wind propulsion sailing system. It will be a great addition to the Marshallese fleet for trainees to learn the practical side of seafaring. As well, Churanai will enhance the livelihood of the people of the Republic of the Marshall Islands and of the entire Micronesian region. We are looking forward to continue cooperating our work on low carbon shipping technologies with our partners in the future. As we set our sails, the promise to protect the environment is renewed, the ancestors are honored, and sustainable future for the generations yet to come is ensured. Let the wake of BSP Drew and I inspire us all to take action, to chart our course towards sustainability, 
fueled by our collective determination.